your team are not robots. People are not robots, right? They are humans with emotions and our human emotions affect work. The first big mistake that leaders make with regards to managing remote teams, the failure to give space, right? So what do I mean by the failure to give space? There's a difference between surveillance and supervision because sometimes the leaders may come from the intention of trying to supervise their team, right? They start to surveillance, you know, and to kind of do some micromanaging, breathing down their necks to ask them whether are they doing work and stuff like that. The second key challenge is the failure to acknowledge team struggles. Your team are not robots. People are not robots, right? They are humans with emotions and our human emotions affect work. You know, everyone is just trying to cope with all the changes. And sometimes we have our good days and we have our bad days. You agree, you know? I want to share with you what are the key things that you can do, right? Seven key strategies that you can do to make sure that you are leading and managing your remote team effectively to lead them towards high performance. Check in regularly, right? Check in regularly. One of the key points is uh, how you can build trust through care. I'm going to share with you some ways of how you can show care to your team. The first key thing is for the leaders to start reaching out to check in regularly. And I want to help you with asking just two questions, right? Two questions. And this could be a one-to-one -one check in, you know? So just now we have a check in question for all, right? Doing meetings. And now this is a one-to-one -one check in for you as a leader to the different team members. And while you're checking in with them is to ask them two questions. How are you, right? And the second one is how can I support you? Mm -hmm.